Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a three to six month baby must-haves. I'm super excited to film this video because we have definitely added a lot of new products to Harper's routine now, as she is now almost seven months old by the time you guys see this video. So much has changed with her development and all of that, so we definitely have added some new things. I did do a zero to three month baby must have video a couple months back. If you guys want to check that out, I will have it linked below here for you guys. I would say for the most part, we do still use a majority of those products. We still love them and I still stand by them. The only difference now is that we have definitely added a lot more things. So at this point, I feel like we have so much baby stuff in our apartment. It's crazy but they're all really good products, so I wanted to share those with you guys. So Harper, as soon as she turned six months old, I did do a six month update. So that is posted if you guys wanna check out that video, but I feel like even since doing that video, just so much has changed. I feel like as soon as they hit six months old, like they just take off with reaching all these different milestones and developing and I feel like she's getting so big right now. So I wanted to break this video up into different categories. I feel like for the majority of the products I'm gonna talk about are all gonna be like toys and the different things like her play mat and play gym and stuff like that that she uses daily. Also things like clothes. And then there are a couple just like random miscellaneous things that I will talk about. So I'm going to start off with the miscellaneous items because there's only a few of them. So the first thing that I want to talk about is actually a camera or baby monitor. We still do use the Owlette camera. That is my favorite. It is really awesome. It pairs with the Owlette sock so you can monitor their heart rate oxygen and see the temperature of the room and everything like that. I did already talk about this product in my last must have video. We do still use that every single day. I always check it when she's napping and when she's sleeping at night, but we did decide to get a second camera just to have for when we're on the go or traveling. Obviously that's not happening right now in light of what's going on, but it is nice to have a camera when we are staying somewhere else because in the times that we were out and we didn't have a camera, we're just so used to checking on her through the camera. So it's just so weird to not be able to check on her that way. So we decided to get a really cheap camera off of Amazon. We already spent a decent amount on the outlet camera, so we weren't gonna spend a fortune on a second camera. So this one is really inexpensive and it also has really good reviews. So this is the camera that we decided to go with. I will go ahead and insert clips of what the picture looks like on the camera and everything like that in the app as well. The thing that I really like about this camera and the app itself is that you can actually like take screenshots through the app, which you can't do with Outlet. You just have to take like a screenshot on your phone because I love like taking different pictures of her sleeping positions because they're so cute. And you can also take videos as well. And then it stores all of them on the app. So you can like look back at, you know, the pictures and videos and stuff like that, which I really like. The picture quality is super clear. Um, it has like a day mode and a night mode. And you can also put that on auto as well. So you don't have to switch back and forth but all around this camera is actually really awesome and it's super affordable. So if you guys are looking for a cheap camera or baby monitor and don't wanna spend a lot of money, but something that actually works really good, I would definitely recommend this one. If you wanna spend a little bit more money, I would recommend the outlet. And then the next random item that I wanna talk about is actually a hairbrush that we use for her. So this is actually a wet brush, but it's like a baby one, which I think is so cute because I have like the big one for me and I love wet brush. If you guys have seen my videos and seen Harper, you will know that she has a lot of hair. She came out with a lot of hair. She still has so much hair. So we definitely needed a good brush for her that like wouldn't like pull her hair. So this one is awesome. We use this every night after she gets a bath and this is definitely my favorite hairbrush for her because her hair is so long. And then the next products that I wanna talk about, I'm pretty sure I talked about this in my zero to three month video, which is the pacifiers that we use. So we still use the Bibs pacifiers. These are what they look like. They're super cute and I'm so glad that she actually likes them because I got them first because I thought they were super cute and I can match them with different outfits. 
but she actually preferred these pacifiers over all of the rest of the ones that we tried. So these are her favorite and we just actually got the next size up. So this is the zero to six month size and then this is the six to, I think it's 18 months it goes up to. So I wanted to show you guys like the difference in them because there is a slight difference. So this one, as you can see, it is kind of more short and a little bit wider. This one is a little bit longer and like not as wide. It's like a little bit more skinny. I wanted to mention about these is that even though they kind of changed, she still took this pacifier without any issues. So even though it's like shaped a little bit differently, she still took it the same as she would this one. So these are super cute. They have so many different colors. I always like to go with the neutral colors, the neutral tones, different shades of pink and orange. Those are my favorite. So these are super cute and we love these. I think we have like eight right now, which I don't know if that's like obsessive or not, but I feel like there's always pacifiers all over our apartment. So it's definitely nice to have a lot of them. And then the next category I wanna talk about is clothing items and kind of what clothing we're using for her right now. I'm mainly just gonna talk about the clothing that we use when we're kind of like at home, not the outfits that she really like goes out with or the outfits that I like to take like Instagram pictures of her in. For all those clothes that are like a little bit nicer, I get most of my clothes from either H&M or Zara. They have really good deals, they're really good quality. I prefer mostly clothing that is like the ribbed material for her because it's a little bit more stretchy, it actually lasts a little bit longer. So those are my favorite two brands to get baby clothes for, for kind of when we're like out and about or taking photos. For just around the house, I wanted to talk about some pieces that are really comfortable and affordable. So for like nights and like pajamas and stuff, we like to do onesies. So we'll either do like a footed onesie or just a short sleeve, not footed onesie. It kind of just depends on the temperature in our apartment. So when it's colder, I like to go with these cotton onesies. These are zip up. So these two right here are from Loved Baby. I don't know if I've talked about these before. I think I may have talked about it in my what's in my hospital bag video like a long time ago. But since then we've gone through a few different sizes. So these are the three to six months. They actually still fit her because they're pretty long. So the thing that I like about these is that it is grippy on the bottom right here. So when she gets older and she's kind of like walking around and stuff, or right now when she's like trying to learn how to crawl, she can kind of grip her feet on stuff, which is really nice. And then it also has a little elastic right here. So it kind of tightens around their foot. So their feet stay in these. If you don't have onesies that have this, like Harper's feet always come out of her onesies and it's so annoying. So these are awesome. They're zippers, so they're really easy for diaper changes. And it's also organic cotton as well. So it's really good quality. It's really soft and we love these. And then for nights when it's a little bit warmer or during the day when we're just kind of hanging around the apartment and we want to put her in something lighter, all of these onesies right here are from Old Navy. I love these ones. I think they are so cute. So this one has little strawberries. This one is just a coral color. And then this one has a little peach on it. I think they're super cute. They're super comfy. This is the six to 12 month size and they are just like a little bit big on her, but they still fit really nicely, really good quality. And these are just nice to put her in when we're hanging out at home. So this was a pack of three. I don't remember how much exactly it was. I'll have it linked below for you guys to check out, but they were really inexpensive and they also have like different designs and patterns as well. But I just thought this one was the cutest pack. And then another kind of clothing item that I wanted to mention are these bandanas. This one's kind of wrinkly right now because I just washed it. This one is from Copper Pearl, really good quality. And I would say around three months was when Harper really started drooling a lot. In fact, we thought that she was teething back then. And I guess she wasn't, she was just going through some sort of weird phase at the time where she was really fussy and acting like she was teething, but she wasn't. So we stocked up on a lot of these. They come in different prints and stuff. These help with drooling and or spit up, which happens. So whenever we put an outfit on her and she has like just eaten or whatever, we like to throw one of these on because 
spit up and drool is inevitable and you want to preserve their outfits. So it is a lot easier to replace these and take those off and on her versus changing an entire outfit because she spit up or drooled all over it. And then another kind of clothing piece that I want to talk about is her sleep sack that she uses right now. So I think in my last zero to three month video, I was talking about the love to dream swaddles, which we absolutely loved. We used those all the way up until maybe four months old because she started to show signs that she was rolling over and we stopped using the ones that had the arms in. So she used to sleep with her arms like this and her little love to dream swaddle. And then we got the transitional ones so you can actually unzip the part that their little arms go into, which was really nice. So we did use the transitional one for a little while. And then about a month ago, we decided to get the Halo sleep sack. We got the little sleep sack so her arms are completely out of it. It's like sleeveless. And she loves that one so much. It is so strange because it's literally just a sleep sack. Like she's just wearing a blanket, but she cannot sleep without it. It definitely helps her sleep a lot. And we decided to get one that's kind of like a micro fleece material. So it's like really warm and soft because it has been pretty cold here in San Diego. So she's been sleeping with that one. She's sleeping with it right now because she's napping. So I'll go ahead and insert a picture of what it looks like and show a little video clip of it. But we love that one. It's super nice to keep her warm at night and she loves it. All right, and then the next category I'm gonna talk about is all to do with like playing. So it's either gonna be like things that she uses to play or her toys and stuff. The first thing that I wanna talk about is a foam mat. I don't have it right here because it's huge. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert pictures and video clips of what it looks like. We found this one off of Amazon. It is white and it just has little gray stars all over it. So this is super nice when they start crawling and doing tummy time and sitting up because it is foam. If they kind of fall over or hit their head on it, it's not going to hurt them. And it's also really easy to clean as well because you'll find when you do tummy time, they tend to drool and spit up a lot. So this is a lot easier to wipe clean versus wiping her play mat clean. For a while, we were just using the play mat that I showed you guys in my zero to three month video. And every time she would drool or spit up on that, I would have to throw the entire thing in the wash, which pretty much she did almost every day. So it was such a pain to try to clean that. So we decided to go with a foam play mat so that she can lay on it, roll over on it, and we can just wipe everything clean, which is so convenient. You will find that these foam mats can get so crazy expensive, and I don't know why. We looked at a couple from Bye Bye Baby, and they were seriously almost like $100, which I personally do not want to spend on something that is, you know, going to get a little bit messy and stuff like that. So we decided to go with this one from Amazon. Um, I will have it linked below for you guys, and we love this one. And then the next item that I'm going to talk about is her little activity center. So we got this one from Bye Bye Baby when she was about four months old. It did say four months plus, but I'll just be honest with you guys, when she was four, even like five-ish months old, this thing was like way too big for her. It just looked so small in it, so we really didn't start using it until she was about five months old. And at that point she was really able to like hold herself up really well and actually play with it um, but it is four months plus depending on the size of your baby <laughs> harper is a smaller baby so it was just a little bit too big for her at that age but we absolutely love this thing it is awesome because it's pretty much like a three in one so this is not just going to be used when they're babies but they can actually use it when they're toddlers as well so i always feel better about buying things that she can use for years versus like just like a couple months so this one's awesome you just set them inside of it when they're a baby and they can sit there and kind of play with everything and then also once they become old enough to kind of like walk and stand on their own you can actually take the little seat out and it actually turns into a little table so they can still play with everything from the outside. It's super fun. She loves playing with this thing and it definitely keeps her entertained for quite a while. Then the next item that I want to talk about is the Jolly Jumper. So we saw these like everywhere when Harper was about four months old is kind of when we really started to buy her these types of things, which again is another kind of investment piece. Like it's not the cheapest, but it is so worth the money because it is so much fun and it keeps your baby entertained for a while. And the thing that I like about it is that everything 
about like the harness that they go in is super adjustable. So even if your baby is a little bit smaller, like Harper, she can still fit into this one. So this is super fun. She loves going in there and jumping around and it kind of helps her practice like standing up and stuff as well. All right, and then the next product I actually can show you guys because it is on the smaller side. So this right here, you've probably seen everywhere. I feel like everybody has one of these. These are the Bumbo seats and these are really nice to help your baby kind of practice sitting up. We've had this for a few months. Harper now can sit up on her own. She still every once in a while will kind of like fall over, but for the most part, she is sitting up. So this is really nice to have because the older that babies get, at least Harper, she does not really like laying down anymore. She loves being upright and sitting up because she knows that she can do it now. So this is really awesome. You can bring this with you like on the go if you're over at somebody's house and you wanna put your baby in something and keep them kind of occupied or it's really nice when you're trying to get things done. So if I'm either cooking or cleaning and just wanna put her in something, this is really nice because I know that she can sit up and she's not gonna fall over. It has little straps on the inside so you can kind of like seat belt them in so you don't have to worry about them falling out of it or anything like that. The material is kind of like a foam material. It's like really flexible and comfortable for them. So now all of the next products that I'm going to talk about are literally all going to be toys. So these are all toys that Harper loves or some of her favorite toys and then some of my favorite toys as well. So the first two toys that I want to talk about are teething toys specifically. So you guys will probably see this everywhere. I feel like everybody has a Sophie giraffe. This is awesome. This is one of her favorite toys for teething. She loves chewing on stuff. I would say for what it is, it can seem a little bit expensive, but honestly, it's so worth the money. We got ours from Bye Bye Baby, but there's you can either find them at Target or Amazon or wherever. They're all the same price, but they are super awesome. It also does have like a squeak as well, which Harper really likes. Every time I squeak it, she like looks for it and she gets super excited, kind of like a puppy. <laughs> And then the next one is this little teething ring. So this is all silicone right here and then the little rings are wooden. I got this one from Target and for the life of me, I could not find it to link it for you guys. It is not on their website. And it basically was just in that little section that has like pacifiers and pacifier clips. So I picked this up for her. I know there's a lot of other brands that carry very similar things. I know Ryan and Rose has a couple of these and Amazon has some as well. So I will try to link something really similar for you guys, but Harper loves this one. Every time I hold it up and go like this, she like laughs. I don't know why, but it entertains her as well. The next toy, which I think is so cute, she actually really loves a lot, is this little kind of blanket stuffed animal toy. So this is really fun because I know a lot of babies are like this, but whenever you give them like a toy or a stuffed animal, the thing that they mainly play with is the tags, which is so random. But every time I give Harper a stuffed animal, she just finds the tag and just like messes with it. So I thought this would be really fun for her because it has all different colors on it. So it kind of helps with her like development and she can see all the different colors and then she can kind of play with them as well. And it's also super cute. I feel like she'll use this for a really long time, especially when she gets older. It'll be like a cute little stuffed animal that she can keep in her crib. And then most of the last items are all kind of like little books. I am like literally obsessed with like these little soft books. These are so stinking cute. I love them so much. So these are all by the same brand, which is Manhattan Toy Company. I have seen this one in particular in a lot of different places. I don't think they have it at Bye Bye Baby, but I know they have it at Target. They have it at, I think I saw it in like a Barnes and Noble or something too. They have them on Amazon and they're the cutest little things. So I think these are so fun for either tummy time or when they're like sitting up, they can kind of like look down and play with it. So they are soft books. You can open it up and it's still like, you can read it like it's a book but they have like little things that your baby can kind of play with. It's different colors, different shapes. Um, it's really like interactive. So like this one, it's kind of like, it has like the little mermaid tail down here and it makes that little crinkle noise, which babies love, Harper loves that so much. And then like this one here has like a little mirror. It's like a little clamshell opens up, it has a mirror. And then there's also 
a little fish as well. I just think they're the cutest things ever. I love to put these on the ground when she's either sitting up or doing tummy time and she can kind of play with them. So again, this is like another example. This one actually my sister-in-law gave us. I don't know exactly where she got it. I think she just got it from like a small boutique or something where she lives. So I had a really hard time finding this online. Like I could not find it, but this is another really cute one. So again, it kind of has the stuff that like sticks out the little tags and stuff. It makes like the crinkle noise and then it has a little mirror on the back as well. This is the last little book I wanted to show you guys. So this one is a little bit different because it actually opens up all the way. So it folds all the way up and then it unfolds like this. And then this one actually has a little corner that's kind of like that they can teeth on, which is really nice. It has a mirror for them to look at. And then this one is my favorite because there's a little llama in a pocket and I think it's so cute so your baby can like take this out and play with it but I just think this one is so cute and I know when she gets older she's gonna love having these and then the last two products are that same brand which is the Manhattan Toy Company so this I haven't actually opened yet because Harper's not at that point where she's doing things like this but I wanted to grab it in case it's sold out so this is like a wooden puzzle so they basically just try to put the shapes back in its place but I think this one is so cute I wanted to get this in case it's sold out because I think it is so adorable and it kind of matches the rest of the stuff that I got her and then this book is actually like the same print and everything as this so it has like that same little leopard on it which I think is so cute so this is like it's not like a book like this where it's soft but this is kind of like a soft squishy material right here but then the inside is like a normal book but for some reason whenever i hold this up to harper she always smiles and she loves this one i just think these are adorable all right you guys so that is going to conclude it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this and found all of these products helpful if you have a baby and you're having a hard time entertaining them and want to know some really good toys and stuff, I feel like this will help you out a lot because these are all toys that we use every day with her and she loves. The only things that I didn't mention that we are using right now for her that I didn't talk about are everything to do with eating and stuff because we just started doing solids with her. I wanted to do a separate video just talking about baby must-haves for eating and when they start eating solids. A couple things that we have that we've been loving that I'm not gonna talk too deeply into is we do have the Ikea high chair. So if you guys are thinking about getting a high chair, I personally don't see the point in spending a lot of money on high chairs because they just get thrashed and they get so messy and a lot of them are really big and bulky as well and I didn't really want that. I wanted something smaller, stable, and something that was cute, like kind of neutral and matched our apartment. So we decided to get the Ikea one. We love it. She's been using it for a few weeks now and it's really great. And then all of the other items that we use to either put her food in or bibs and stuff like that, um, we're still kind of in the process of trying a lot of those things out and finding what we like. So once I figure that out, I will do a video for you guys on that, as well as like what kind of foods she's eating, the different brands that we've been using if we're making food, so i'll let you guys know all of that when it happens if you guys did like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you are not subscribed make sure to hit that subscribe button and if you guys want to keep up and see whenever i post new videos make sure to turn on your notifications so you never miss out on that if you guys have any ideas of videos that you want to see, please leave that down in the comments below. And if you guys do decide to try any of these products out or you have any other products that you've used for three to six month year olds, please let me know in the comments down below and share with everyone else some of your favorite products. But with all that being said, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!